What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. In today's video we have something very very special which I've been waiting for for a good couple of months now. My dad is getting involved as well because it's actually mine and his birthday present sort of combined so we're going to get into that a little bit later but for now let's get on with today's video. So later on it's actually going to be a pool workout. Yesterday was chest, I've been at Charlotte's for a couple of days now as you guys saw in the last video. I'll just pop you down there. But later on we're hopefully going to be going to the gym with Jake as well. You guys haven't seen Jake in a long time so it'll be good for him to catch up with you guys with the channel and with me as well. But what I'm going to do now is ring my lifetime personal training tutor purely because I have my practical in four or five days time and I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. So, pretty much I need to know what I need to bring, what I, what, I, I just need to know everything, whether I need to bring documents with me, whether they supply things for me, whether I have to do extra work ready for the practical, like, I literally don't know anything. So, as far as lifetime training goes so far guys, I said I'll give you updates as I went along. So far it's been really good in terms of getting help, like they gave me lots of guidance with getting the work done. So if you are considering using them, then so far I would recommend them, but I mean there are lots of companies out there who would give the equivalent sort of qualification so they're by no means the only way to do this it's just the way that I found that works for me. So it seems like a pretty sort of consistent thing like all throughout life not just in fitness or in the gym or whatever but you seem to have to find what works for you and then just sort of stick with it and just go for it so I mean that, that's kind of what I'm figuring out along the way guys so right I've rambled enough I'm gonna give him a call we will catch up with you guys in a sec. Um, hi Richard, it's Liam. Just a couple of questions, really. Like, what I've got a couple of sort of documents. Does d does that have anything to do with the practical that's on ne that's next week? And thanks a lot for your help, and I'll um, I'll speak to you again soon. All right, cheers. All right, thanks again. Cheers. Bye. Right, okay. I I changed my mind. I know I said that they've been a little bit helpful, kind of helpful, but that was that was that was pretty good, really. To be fair. Suddenly, really aware that I'm being watched while I'm being while I'm getting changed. I need some socks. Gym time. What's up guys, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, then let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe for loads more awesome content over the next few weeks. With Ibiza for coming up, PT training, we're back at uni soon as well guys. Everything is coming together nicely. So with that said, let's get into today's workout. So I have the second set of each exercise to show you and as you guys can see, we started off with pull-ups. But with the last rep, I really held myself up there. It got a good contraction at the top and almost did a few little kind of half reps in there just to break down those muscle fibers as much as possible. Next up was a narrow grip pull down. I would usually do stuff in a different order uh, in the home gym. But with this being a public gym, equipment wasn't always readily available, including a close grip handle, which meant that I had to improvise and use two regular handles like you use for chest flies or something like that which actually ended up working pretty well to be fair, it allowed me to supinate my hands a little which just allows me to get a better range of movement I find anyway. Next up was the exercise which I wanted to do second but I couldn't because it was taken and that was the barbell row. I actually went with the supinated grip today just because the last month or so I'd done pronated, just wanted to mix it up a little bit. For those wondering as well, supinated uh, just means that your palms are facing up and pronated means that your palms are facing down guys, it's that simple. So next up was a straight arm pull down, one of my favourite movements for the back as you get an awesome stretch with top and I find that I don't have to really go heavy with it either which is kind of strange but that was then followed up by a horizontal row with the cables again using the two handles because they want an attachment available but it is what it is you just got to get on with it no excuses and actually to be fair it worked out pretty well as you guys can see keeping a neutral grip throughout after that we finished up with some arms as usual guys but I kind of wanted to show you this instead it, it was actually Jake's idea to deadlift it I, I was a bit like well Nah, I don't usually conventionally deadlift anyway, and on top of that I was tired at the end of the session. But I was like, well, fuck it, let's go for it. And so I did a couple of warm-up sets and then just slapped on 120 kilos or 265 pounds, and then did a nice controlled easy rep. And that, considering I haven't done it for ages and it was at the end of an intense pool session, I went home with a pretty good smile on my face. Okay guys, so... Here I am, at home, with a big smile on my face. And the reason I have a big smile on my face is because we are about to head towards that birthday present that I mentioned earlier on in the video. Very, 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 very excited. This is something I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. I've never been tall enough, I've never been like big enough or old enough or whatever. And now I'm like 20 years old and 
finally in a position to be able to do it. So thank you to everyone involved. You know exactly who you are and I'm sure you'll be watching this video. Let's get going.